Well, the hallways appear normal. Students shuffling along from class to class, but the emotional wounds are raw and anxiety continues in the Chardon school system. As News Channel 5's Dave Arnold reports, media outlets can help with the healing process after last year's school tragedy by getting the message out to parents. Listen to your kids. As a Geauga County parent myself, it's hard to comprehend the deeply serious emotions with which families in Chardon have been dealing since last February. Nearing the end of last spring's graduation, Chardon students were each coping in their own way after a school year of tragedy. For some, it was a summer of memories, perhaps too tough to take. We had six children uh, that attempted suicide from about May until about this time of the school year. Uh, fortunately for all of us, uh, the, they didn't succeed. There's big feelings associated with grief and trauma. Those are real feelings that are still there that don't just go away after so many months. Where every child brings a different suitcase to school. Some are empty, some are full, some have lost parents, some have lost other family members, and an event like that stirs all those emotions back up. The morning of the shooting showed just how much Chardon students and parents were able to come together. Prevention of possible grief issues paramount. The Chardon School District immediately bringing in counselors. I think parents need to be informed. So they need to learn what risks are, what warning signs are. They can go online and look at that. There's many organizations for suicide awareness and suicide prevention. They need to become informed. The next thing they need to do is listen to their children, non-judgmental listening and supporting. Parents were there for their children the morning of February 27th, and we all need to be there for them now. As I looked through my lens that morning, I was immediately struck by the shock and disbelief on the students' faces, but also the relief that those parents had. The story had to be told carefully, and it had to be told responsibly. Kids love that drama. And Lori Stevick Rust is a clinical health psychologist. You know, sometimes the media gets a really bad rap of, you know, they're out there sensationalizing for ratings, and I don't deny that perhaps that's a piece of this, but I also think it's really important for the media be very, very sensitive to the fact that you have to be able to tell the story. You know, you have to be able to share the things that are happening in our community. People need to be educated, they need to be notified, they need to be aware. We're in the business of postvention and grief support. We don't want this to happen. We really want this to be preventable. On your side, Dave Arnold, News Channel 5. Grief counselors and administrators want to stress to parents that seeking professional help may be necessary. Even if it's difficult to discuss with your child, it could be a life or death decision they're dealing with. Many events, no matter how big or small, can trigger depression. Suicide attempts can happen and do in any school district. So check with your school district for prevention programs if your family may need to talk about it.